Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard, and welcome to my new series of episodes on the Company 008 Minecraft multiplayer server. You may have seen a few of the videos I've already made, a couple on my channel and a few on the actual uh, Company 008 community channel. I'll leave a link to a few of those in the description in case you haven't. But this is going to just uh, be a series keeping up with my exploits on the server. Currently, I've been scouting for a location for my new base outside of the spawn area of the server. So, let's say we catch up and see what I've found, alright? As you can see, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I finally decided to get away from spawn on the uh, Company 008 server. I've been wandering for a long time. I think I'm about 6,000 blocks away from the spawn area now. Somewhere around there. I've crossed uh, many, many snow biomes, actually, on my way here. And a couple oceans, and I've been sailing for a long time. And what do you think I discovered? Oh, I will show you. So hold on a second. Let's get started. So, as you can see here, we have a nice island... Or perhaps continent. I'm not exactly sure. I wanted to start recording before I actually explored everywhere. But as you can see, we've got extreme hills running straight into the ocean. And we've got a cool waterfall right in the middle. So I think this will be a really sweet place to start, you know, building some really cool epic base. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like from, you know, out in the middle of the ocean right as I got to it. So this is my first time here. I'm going to do some exploring and I'll get back to you guys and we'll s start building something cool hopefully. So anyway, we're going to explore a little bit and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, I've done a little bit of exploring now. I've made my way up the first hill. I'm like right above the waterfall actually. It's night time. I can see the little island down there at the bottom. Put a couple torches on and you can see my little boat down here. That's the waterfall you saw earlier. So I'm right up on this hill. And here's what I'm calling Epic Vista number one. Just look at all these great mountains out here. I mean, some of them are still, you know, back here where they haven't popped in because of my render distance. But, you know, even just all this stuff right here, just look at all this cool potential we've got for nestling stuff in the hills in here. I haven't found the exact place I want to build just yet, but... I did just throw some torches up on top of this hill right here, since this is kind of where I uh, discovered the place. So we'll use this as a uh, beginning point. There's all sorts of sheer cliffs out here too. It's really, really awesome looking. So I can't wait to start building some stuff back here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit more wandering around. When I find some more cool views and stuff, I'm going to show you guys. Okay guys, we've made it to Epic Vista number two, which is really more of just uh, the uh, Epic Vista number one view if you look this way, but you have also down the uh, coastline here, you can see a lot of the cool bluffs and things we've got going on. Uh, back over there you can see lit up was the area I was just at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make my way along the coast here a little bit and then maybe go inland after a while as well, loop my way back around and just kind of get a lay of the land and I'll pop back in every once in a while to show you guys what it looks like. So let me try a little sniping on Mr. Creeper down there and then we'll move on to the next spot. Oh, misjudged the distance a little high. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, check back in a few. Uh, I'll check back in with you in a few. Okay, guys, I've continued my trek up the coast. Uh, back that way is where I came from, and this way is where I'm going. And I just thought I'd come back in here and show you this kind of lagoon-looking thing down here, a little inlet with the islands, whatever you want to call it. I think it's kind of awesome how you got these tall hills circling it around, and you get these little islands that dot it down in there, so... Kind of inspires me a little bit. I might want to build like a ship or something down in there at some point, like it's a little hidden cove or whatever. So I'm getting all sorts of ideas just running through this place. So if you guys get any ideas while uh, you're watching this video, then please let me know in the comments because, you know, any ideas I can get, I'm going to be wanting to build a ton back in this place because it's just, I don't know, Extreme Hills is a lot of fun to build in, I think. So I got a lot of project ideas that I'm going to want to start up. 
Anyway, I will continue on. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I found the edge. I'm really just on the other side of this uh, little islands and stuff here now, as you can see. Just did a little under pearl jump over here. And we found the end of the hills. We got a bunch of sheep down here in the plains. So, I don't know about you, but this place just seems to be getting more and more awesome the more I uh, explore it. Because I will show you what I mean here. As you get to this side, you see that we've got a river running down this edge. And it gets a little shallow in spots. I could hollow it out if I wanted. But it goes all the way back in what looks like there's a jungle back this direction. So... It's also got this cool kind of ridge line running through here, so let's just run along a little bit and see what we will find. See what we shall see. Zoink! There you go. It's the only way to travel. Well, not really the only way, but if you're hopping around the mountains like this, Ender Pearl is coming very, very handy. <laughs> thought that might be a cave or something, but apparently it just stopped back there. Okay guys, I've made my way back around the side of these hills a little bit past this jungle. And you can see we've got a bit of a pool back here. We've got a little waterfall coming down and tons of cows for some strange reason. And you can see I've had a little bit of a battle over here. I've got a few guys have spawned back in, but when I was climbing up this little spire here, there is a creeper that was sitting just on one of these little ledges here. And now you can see that it's missing. You can see where the dirt's left is kind of where uh, <laughs> he did his damage, so I couldn't see him at all. I was trying to jump up these single block things to get to the top here to show, like, give you guys a view, and uh, he blew me up off the back. And I had like one heart left. It's too bad I wasn't recording because it was kind of crazy. But anyway... I've made it up here, and you guys get a little bit of a view over here. Got a lonely tree down there, a bit of a hill, and it keeps going back into this jungle around here that sort of wraps around this back edge of the hills. So I'm going to keep wandering around, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. All right, daytime now, guys, as we circle around, look back where we came from. Uh, it's a little hard to see torches now. Oh, there's a creeper down here. Let me shoot him. Can't resist sometimes, you know. They're not really doing anything other than di disappearing. Okay, despawning. But anyway, this is where we came from. And uh, as you can see, there's some people chatting and going on right now. But uh, right there, yes, there's a torch. So we came back from that way. As you can see, the jungle is wrapping around this side. So you kind of get a lay of the land. I just want to show you this river here. It looks pretty sweet. We've got this little island jungle trees and stuff going on. Sheer cliff face, don't jump. Unless you want to have a bad day. But then on the other side of this here, if I can get a good view of it, there's something else that's kind of cool. Alright. Ah, oh, there we go, that's what I was looking for. There's a lava fall in the middle of this here, uh, valley or whatever. Which I think could be really cool to use as a background for something, or... I don't know. I might have to work with it later. You have to see what's going on with it, but, you know, regardless of the lava, there's some pretty cool... You know, shapes to the hills in here on all the sides, so building something down in the bottom of uh, this valley here could look really, really cool. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep circling around the edge of this here, maybe we'll loop back to the beginning eventually. I'll show you guys uh, anything that looks awesome. Alright guys, I'm kind of in the middle of the valley area of the hills now. I've gone a bit away from the edge. I've been looping around back here and coming around. But I wanted to come back in here and check this out. I saw this little bit of a waterfall and unfortunately it doesn't really go into anything. But we could make this bottom into a lake or a pond at some point if we really wanted to. But I just like these overhangs in here. They're really, really cool looking. So I wanted to share them with you guys. As we travel along with Mr. Sheepies in here. Yeah, there's more over there. I was going to say, I sound really silly saying that if there's only one sheep. And you're not a sheep at all, are you, mister? <laughs> Piggy says no. Alright, moving along. 
we've got the spire and we're back around kind of to the coast we're not back to the original spot that i sailed in on the boat yet but we are getting close Just skip a little bit of this run in here and we're going to come to the top of this little uh, cliff face and get another view for you guys See a little bit of my uh, parkour skills, mountain climbing. Yep, I thought so. We are now back to the beginning. As you can see, the island and my little boat down here in this original waterfall. We're back to vista number one, guys. So that uh, gives you a little bit of an overview of this extreme hills biome area I've found. It's a pretty big area. It's got some many cool spots in it. You know, you guys got to see a big overview of it, but there's a bunch of nooks and crannies that I haven't even found yet. I just did a quick run through for you guys. So I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth exploring, gather some materials, and hopefully start building something soon. <laughs> As you see, it pops in there. It's like right on the edge of my render distance here for recording. It looks really, really cool with it turned up. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. I'll check back in next time on, you know, on the server here. And I'll have something built, hopefully, in here. And show you guys a little bit of my plans of what I work out after I've uh, explored this area a bit more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the area. And I'll see you next time.